Guten Tag, Observer, and willkommen in Zoom Mind Welt. In this episode, we are going to do some. Right, have it? some carnival fun. I'm on it. Let's see what we have to offer. Um. It's been about a day or so since I played. Um, the encroachment of winter has finally struck here at my house, and it is incredibly cold. But even so, we're going to check out the carnival. I actually like the colder weather. It makes me feel resilient. I don't know. I always viewed myself as this person who's like a northerner. I was born in the mountains. Actually, I wasn't. I was born in England. But I've lived in the mountains all my life. Um, and I, I viewed myself as a rugged, hard mountain man. And um, that was until I went to Colorado. Right, what's this then? And realized that I wasn't as much of a mountain man as I thought I was. Because as soon as I got there, I had altitude sickness. <laughs> Which was very strange. Because I'm used to living around 3,000 feet. And a mere doubling of that almost made one of the veins in my, um, one of the blood vessels in my hand explode. Um, I still have, like, a pressure wound from it where, like, it occasionally swells up with blood. Um, so it's really weird. But anyway, let's continue. So, let's see what we have to, this carnival has to offer. time for to talk to you now. That's why I something, saw something moving back of my place, so I keep fire building all the time now, as long as it keeps it out of my backyard. Okay. That could have been a quest for us if you would have been a little bit more specific. You, friend. Let's see what's going on here. Oh my gosh. Nothing for you here. <sighs> I knew of this tent's existence, but I didn't think that it was this tent. Stay back there. If any of you come closer, I'll kill her. I'm serious. Don't make me do it. All I have to do is say the last word of my spell and she'll die. What's this all about? She's a witch. She'll use her magics to poison the children of this town. She'll butcher the livestock and she'll seduce the young men. Make them her puppets. She must be killed. What are you talking about? Why the prejudice against a magic unit? You said it yourself, you're a mage. After all, aren't you going to kill her with your magic word? Get a hold of yourself. It's probably exactly... Uh, no, I wouldn't say get a hold of yourself, idiot. Uh, why don't we discuss this like rational beings? Just calm down and I'm sure we can come to some sane solution. Discuss? There's nothing to discuss. Um, the switch will die now. Now leave me or I'll smite you as well. Are you some sort of inbred hedge wizard? I don't really believe you can cast any spells at all. Come on. <laughs> okay, if it's... A uh, I feel like I've already discussed this in a wrong manner. Okay, if it's a fight you want, then we'll... Then you'll get one. No. Leave us alone. We are so horrible. Go for the eyes. Jahara, what are you doing? Oh. I forgot to um Nature servant awaits. Oh, what? No. No. Oh, she's not the one who has resist fear to begin with. It's her. We we've just died a tragic death here. It's up to uh, Jahira here to keep everyone alive. I definitely did this wrong. I could really use Tensor's floating bandage over here. I could really use Tensor's floating bandage. That's funny. This is going to be difficult because they're moving. Come on, people, snap out of it before he kills you all. Only take me to a licensed cleric. Uh, uh. 
keep her alive. He's focused on Emowyn. You can do this. Oh gosh, this is bad. Use your stick. Yeah, hit the one with actual hit points. That will work quite nicely for me. Come on, Jahara, you've got this. There we go, everybody just kill this guy. This was horrible. This was absolutely horrible. Well, Minx finally hit level two. Minx, you, uh, you slacker, but you finally pulled through, and you only gained two hit points. Minsk, I liked you. I really did. Go on then. Sorted. I don't know what what has happened. Why things have gone so awry in this let's play. <laughs> but, um, hopefully we will prevail. I don't see how that's going to happen at this point, but, um, uh, we had another two deaths. What a strange coincidence you say this as we just leave with two dead people from this carnival. If only there were more people here to enjoy it. Yeah, like these two that are dead. Where is everyone? Down in the mines or dead? Yeah, I like the combination of these two. More often than not, I'm sorry, you folks. Here to enjoy the carnival. Don't let me go telling my depressive tales. Oh, well, nice meeting you. Right, what's this then? Now let us go waste more time um, investigating. Um, re we really need to have a pep talk. Um, a pep talk My with our crew members here that keep dying. I'm sure it has to... Oh, there she lay, pale and bloodless at my side. Woeful be the path of elves and I. Woeful be the path of all who trod this glade. Or Nosferatu's once fair love has died. Oh, she has died. Sounds horrible. Midst coffers full of coffins bare, there came the fearsome devil bat. Red blood, red eyes, and ruddy hair. But none were more red than two sharp teeth that glistened there. Oh, I'm hating this rhyme. There ends that person's last word and beloved work, Nosferatu. Enjoy the rest of the carnivals, ladies and gentlemen. One, a finer one I have not seen in years, despite all the dead it. people. <laughs> okay, so we, we just plan on going to a carnival. The first hint we happen to stumble upon equals death. That's just how our luck is, apparently. Um, I could have handled that better. Oh, I that? ended up killing a woman on accident. Uh, which was inevitably bonus hit po well, bonus experience. But luckily, Manx got experience anyway. How much? 900? That's okay. Observer. At least we got plenty of gold left. I could have had Nera cast spells. I should have probably. Well, I couldn't have. It wouldn't have mattered anyway because, well, she died really fast. Oh, Sorted. You 
was to gather your party before. And I don't know what they did. Um because I have my original Boulder's Sold. Gate playing beside this to see like some differences here and there. Watch over thee upon thy quest. And my Jahara. Oh, I was scared for a moment because whenever you go over here, these two are gone. Um, but my Jahara in the original Boulder's Gate series is capable of casting Remove Fear. Oh, I don't have enough money to res her. Don't worry, M.O.N. We will not forsake you. And that reminds me of a system of dance. But anyway. Time to go right, sell some that? stuff. This guy doesn't buy potions, does he? Oh my gosh, this is like the carnival of death. Which is very fitting, considering I just, like, finished Salted. taking a gothic lit course, where the carnival is actually a place where a lot of people die. I mean, you have this serial killer, um... The business has been poor, gosh, what was his name? Shortage, you know. Was it Holmes? No, it couldn't have been Holmes. But anyway, there's a serial killer that I read about. Um, that I had to read about for one of my classes, and he was a carnival killer. So, it was kind of interesting. Let's not waste his gold getting that, but we should have some things to say, so... Find familiar. Lawful good, imp, neutral, neutral evil. Huh. But what about neutral good? Oh, pseudo dragon. Okay. Does this only work for uh I think this only works for your main character. But we shall see. Anyway, what was Talos's gift again? Electric resistance? Well, that didn't do us much good. You again. Okay. Let's go resurrect Emoen. Cure some people and then go back to the party. We'll go back to the carnival. Can't believe we got everybody killed. We got three people killed. Just for stepping into the wrong tent. Like, I knew that that tent existed, but I didn't know that that was that one. Like, but it doesn't matter because it's going to go into all you the tents anyway, but... Uh, death to you all. Is this, this is definitely a high-stakes game. I, I love well, that. I love games that quest. don't just, like, um, handhold you the entire time. Where there is an actual risk of death wherever you go. I appreciate that. But maybe I'm not good enough for that. <laughs> We do have some robes, which may be nice for her to have. I don't know what robes they are. I really wish that... Um, it would be nice if she auto-identified them. Was somebody... I think I had intentions of selling these, if I remember correctly. I think Emma and can use them. Everyone needs her stuff back for the, the umpteenth time. We might have to get rid of Minsk, um, which is kind of bad. I think I made a lot of mistakes so far this Let's Play. Um, and I think one of them was getting rid of uh, Khalid for Minsk. And the other one was... I don't know, I could have done without uh, Dinah Hair. But I wanted to follow the canon story, and it doesn't look like that's becoming possible. Um, but in the canon story, you're basically supposed to have... Um, the canon story is that you pick up Minx, Danaher, you keep uh, Jahera and Khalid, and you have Emowen. 
But I messed it up because I wanted this mage in here. Hers is short sword, and I so that's why I shouldn't have given her a dagger. Okay, so now she has both ranged and melee. Do we want to waste gold? Just to identify these? I think we will. Go on then. Sort it. Watch over thee upon thy quest. How much does it cost to cure a light? Okay, let's go ahead. Waste some money. <laughs> Wasting money like a crack out of here. But, oh well, I don't want to rest. But I probably should have. See, I'm making mistakes already again. <laughs> oh well. Let's see, what else was I going to do? Oh, I was going to identify Helm, things. Watch over thee upon thy quest. Okay, so the first one is save versus death plus one. Is that a save versus, like, death spell? Ow. Oh. oh, I'm stretching out a bit. Okay. And then the other one... is electrical resistance. I don't think electrical is that great. It doesn't tell us which robe is which. This one looks like it's the best one. Armor class plus one versus that. Versus slashing attacks. Traveler's robe it is. Okay. So now... But we'll, we'll keep her... We'll let her have some dresses just you in case, you know. Your party before venturing forth. Ugh. I gotta go take a nap. See, now I've wasted money. Sorry that I keep like being like, oh, I just did this, oh, I just did that, but it's it's really disheartening, and I'm not complaining. I actually am loving it in a sense, um, because I don't like I said I don't like being handheld. Is that splint mail? Just sitting on the ground here. Well, chain mail. Eh, we could go without it. Salted. <laughs> Never had rats. No sorry. Let's have a sleep. Right, what's this then? Let's sleep again because I don't want to go around adventuring I'm during the night time. Never had rats. No sorry. You were startled out oh. of sleep with a chill. Though the night is warm and calm. It is though someone has walked across your grave. And for a moment, you wonder if it was you. With this thought, the ground beneath you opens, and you are swept into the dark. What's with all these dreams all of a sudden? When light returns, you do not find its presence comforting. Before you lay the empty mines of Nashkel, cleansed by your previous passage, you move through walls and floors alike, descending deeper and deeper, until a bloated figure comes into view. Mullahay. In no better shape than you left him, stands motionless before you. Held from whatever afterlife calls it, this foul apparition has been waiting for you. A dagger of bone hovers before it, ready for a willing hand to drive it deep. Had this creature breath, you were sure it would be hurling curses. It waits for the kill, a death beyond death, and knows no hope. You turn your back on the blade, and it clatters to the floor. Punishment enough shall find this creature in the land of the dead. You need not inflict any more upon him. Surprised and thankful, the visage of Mullahay hobbles forward and through you, off to whatever fate it deserves. Perhaps for safekeeping, it leaves a part of itself behind. It is a spark of hope that fills a space within you. A dagger-shaped hole you did not know was empty. There is a cry of rage from the depths, and the dagger of bone launches itself through the air. Your heart, its target. You awake just as it should have struck, and the cold sweat that covers you stings your eyes. 
a disapproving voice lingers in your ears, though it should have disappeared with the dream. You will learn. Huh. That was very interesting. Uh huh. So you in the dream, we salted. spared him mercy, and salted. it filled a hole in us. And then a dagger from the deep came up and tried to stab us there. So is it trying to tell us that we shouldn't be merciful in this game? Maybe I'm reading that wrong, but it awfully sounds like that. Now let's make sure everybody's equipped. I don't think I equipped a narrow with anything. So who has her bullets and slingshot? He does. I should be making more... Pr well, I couldn't because they are feared, but... I should be making more appropriate use of our healing potions um, instead of relying on magic so much. Here, boo. Have a potion to drink. Hopefully it's non-alcoholic. We don't want any uh, drunken hamsters. Drunken giant space hamsters. There we go. Back to the party. Yeah, it's my party. I can cry if I want to. I can cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. You would too if it happened to you. I wonder what happened at that party. Reminds me of some horrible college parties that I've heard about. Most of my college parties were pretty nice. I didn't do that much. I'm not that heavy of a drinker and I'm not much of a socialization person. So I don't go partying that much. But I can host a decent party. And, yeah. Let's see, that guy talked to us. What about this guy? Come see me, swallow flaming knives. Prism carves with unnatural speed to surely unhealthy. What? Prism carves knives. with unnatural speed. Tiff surely unhealthy. What prism? Come see me, the local sculpture knives. has not been the same since his trip to Everesca. Who's the sculptor? I'm always ready to entertain. The great Gazib. Hi. Come well and welcome. You have stumbled upon the great Gazib show. Gazib show. Starring yours truly, the great Gazib. Allow me to introduce the amazing Upa, the world's only exploding ogre. Watch as I make myself disappear. <laughs> that was interesting. Right, I'm what's this always say? ready to entertain. <laughs> wow. I'm always ready to entertain. You're either died. Oh, he I, I'm I didn't tell him to do it again. I was just talking to him. Me speak I'm on face. it. Oh, this is bad. You point I punch. Minx, well, Minx doesn't have hit points, so he shouldn't be in there. Nature servant awaits. Bless everyone. What is it this time? Why is there a question mark here? Does she have identify up? Oh my goodness. Ugh. No. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. <laughs> Go ahead, do some Hello. actual damage to him. What's this one? Command. <laughs> Enable this spell. Enables the priest command another creature to die, sleep for a single round. At the end of the round, wakes and is unharmed. Let's uh let's at least try that. 
You ran? Yes. Uh -huh. oh, 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 this is horrible. Now, in the original Boulder's Gate, you could not equip do this. You couldn't equip someone with a weapon while in the middle of a fight. I'm kind of glad they changed that. Oh. Okay. So you notice what I did there. Sleep is an, imp oh, an incredibly powerful spell. Um, but that was a command spell, not um, sleep. Sleep, I think, only ha works on four hit dice or less. Hello, pal. Hello, pal. Good day. Consider yourself victimized by v <laughs> Viter, Master Thief and Pock Pocket Extraordinaire. I don't have time to chat. Right, what's oh, this? Oh, yes, say? you do. Amazing. Take your chance with Lady Timora. Talk show host. So you can gamble here. This guy looks kind of interesting. These look like You're thugs. You're a lucky fella, aren't you? How much money did I lose? All of it? <laughs> okay, so I can't gamble in here. Sorted. So glad nobody died to the ogre. Sorted. So this is another another gambling ring. Right, what's this then? I really wish we hadn't uh, gotten that one girl kill killed. I would have liked to I'm see what right. happened there. Sorted. Would have liked to know who she was and if she was worth saving. But no, I got her killed. I'm only at the best prices inside of Cormier. Okay, let's see what you got to offer. Throwing axes, club, flails. You still won't buy potions. I don't know what's up with that. There's really nothing of interest to buy here except for the throwing axes. Huh. I'm on it. No need to talk to the cat. What level is Emma in? She's level three. What? I wonder why it costs um. Go on, man. Sorted. Four hundred gold to resurrect her. I'm all at the best prices this side of Cormier. Find time, despite recent shenanigans involving the mines and the pesky bandits. It's been a lovely diversion, indeed. What wares do you have available? Throwing axes. Arrows of piercing, not that great, if you ask me. Well, I don't know, actually. Plus six damage? Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, those are really good. But he only has five, and they're incredibly expensive. And you can only buy two at a time. Do we have anything he's willing to buy? He's willing to buy those. I'm cool with that. Oh, and he's willing to buy these. I'll sell those. Sell these two. So, we did... Ooh, what's... That. Okay, good. Was somebody wearing that ring? What ring is that? Oh, we could definitely sell that. Let's see what else we have here. I'm on it. I feel like um, all we did this episode was successfully get... Um, um, people killed. <laughs> Not just us, but innocent people. Oh, who are I'm you? I'm on it. Oh, I know a discerning eye when I see oh, one. Wow. Big giant block of texts. Okay, an explorer of these lands seeking wonders and oddities. Well, both I have. Unfortunately, I paid thrice the price... For my ironwares, and not a piece is sellable. Mayhaps the guard will take more notice when old swords wear, and new snaps like and the new snaps like twigs and autumn. Nonetheless, you came here to buy, and I have to do something special just for you. These potions are strange magic from a distant shore. A swallow of violet and a titan might you shall pos possess, even after exceptional strength is yours. And a titan's 
Okay, so Violet, a Titan Strength. Drink one of the red mix, and the insight will rival Ella Masters. Your clarity. To you, I offer them at a bargain price of 50 gold apiece. Huh. This sounds like sabotage, but if it is, I need proof. Al already, you must feel stronger just holding it in your hands. Yes, your packs weigh lightly upon your shoulders. Will you convince me of your satisfaction by purchasing... Yeah, well, go ahead. I'm really just wanting to help this guy through his troubles. Let's send these to our mage. I wonder if there's foul play. Be peculiar in nature. It could be a sorcerer's dream, but that would depend entirely on who you asked. After ingestion, ingesting the mixture, the drinker becomes the weakest, most unwise, yet incredibly intelligent person you have ever to have ever lived, with an innate 50% magical resistance as well. Oh, drops wisdom and strength to three. Intelligence to 25. So that would give you extra spell slots, I think. Okay, what does this one do? Dexterity and constitu- Ooh, that's- Mmm. Causes one's muscles to immediately bulge to in- to completely inhuman proportions, titan-like actually, while well, dexterity and constitution are both reduced essentially to that of a slug. Okay, so this would probably be good if we needed to bust down a door. That's the only uses usage I could think about it, so I don't know if we Stick use those, they're very I'm situational. It. I'm on it. And we need well, there was something about a well, sculptor. Well, been lousy lately. I don't remember seeing a sculptor. I've no time for to talk to you now. I understand, I understand. I've no time for to talk to you now. Oh, what do you say? There's halfling fools sitting on a day's travel from the Fyrine Bridge ruins, but never a day, never pay a second glance. Had I a stout blade and time from the farm, I would check it for all the treasure's worth. What? Weather's been lousy lately. What does halflings have to do with anything? I'm assuming that they're trying to imply that the halflings have a treasure. Um... But I'm not that concerned with that. So Let's see what this guy has. All my stuff is authentic. Hey really there, you looking for? You look like the adventure type. Some new equipment? Let's see what you got. <sighs> worthless vendor is worthless. Let's sell some potions. Uh, potion of heroism. Sell those. Yeah, let's just get rid of everything. Gems we can get rid of. Do I have anything in here? Nope. Find familiar is not available. What does that do? That's very situational. Oh, though, at least they're good for selling. That's nice. 
Okay, and we're done here. Good. Now, if this was a high money Salted. game, I think um, you could probably um, get with uh, get away with some things. Now, I was going to have M.O.N. picklock that, but this guy's here. Weather's been lousy lately. I always, is there supposed to be a, a sculpture? I don't understand. Oh, well, I think we've pretty much ran this um, carnival dry. We have a jousting arena. Can we joust? Apparently not. That's okay. Well, I think we're done with the carnival. It wasn't as exciting as I hoped. I mean, we killed an ogre. We got three people killed. Um, I think it was a good carnival after all. Oh, this is all said and done. Yep, truly a wonderful carnival. Does this forest ever end? Endless forests. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, let's go back to Nashkel. Watch us get ambushed Roy, on the way there. Said. Nope. Okay. Well, I think this is a good time to stop. Uh, let me check. I, I need to go to the inn, sleep a little bit, and change people's spells out. Um, but until next time, auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>